What's up guys, Meredith with americantrucks.com and today we are checking out the Rough Country dual rear exit exhaust system with the black tips fitting all 2019 and newer 5.3 liter Sierra and Silverado 1500s with the factory dual exhaust system. Now if you're looking for one of the most affordable ways to transform your Sierra or Silverado sound and appearance, this option by Rough Country will be right up your alley. Now this will deliver a more aggressive note to the 5.3 liter without a crazy amount of volume, putting this at a three out of five on the loudness meter with one being stock and five being wake the neighbors loud. Now that will make it a great option for the Silverado or Sierra owner who wants to turn some heads while keeping it fairly comfortable inside the cab if you're daily driving your truck. This exhaust will deliver a deeper tone and a little bit more volume than your factory exhaust system thanks to the high flow design. Now while this system won't be over the top loud, it is going to be noticeable inside the cab area when you get on it if you like hearing the sound of your system, but won't be annoying with little drone when cruising. Another big benefit to this one specifically is the look, switching it up from the factory balance and tips for a more aggressive quad black tip matching with other black accessories and just elevating the appearance of the rear bumper. Now this kit will also allow you to use your factory balance if you only want to improve your exhaust sound while keeping the factory look giving you options out of this system. This will be made of a 409-16 gauge stainless steel construction that will resist rust pretty well, much better than the factory exhaust system that's made with lower quality materials. Now the muffler here will also be made of a 409. It will have a high temp black powder coat on it, but it is going to be specifically tuned for the 5.3, which will give you that quality sound. The clamps and the tips here will be made of a higher quality 304 stainless steel construction, so those are gonna resist rust incredibly well and it's also going to have a high temp resistant black powder coat on top to protect the stainless underneath but also to just elevate the look in addition to the rough country logo up on top stamped there for some additional style this will come in at about $550, which will make this one of your most affordable choices on the site. Now, while it will be affordable, it's still gonna be made of good quality materials with a mix of stainless steel that will last much longer than a more entry-level material like the factory steel construction. Now, I think for the sound and the appearance that you're getting, this is definitely worth the money if you're looking to keep it affordable and also upgrade your exhaust system. Install will be a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and will take about three hours to get the job uh, fully done. As you can see, there is a lot of material here, so you will have um, a decent amount to do, which is why it'll take that three hours. Now, at this point, we can go over to our shop and check out a detailed breakdown on how to get this onto your Sierra or Silverado at home. So that is gonna wrap it up for my review. Let's go ahead and get into the install. For this install, you will need an impact, various ratchets, large and small extensions, 10 and 13 millimeter swivel sockets, 13 and 15 millimeter sockets, a hanger removal tool, some lubricant, and also not shown here is a pole jack or a jack and jack stands, and also an extra set of hands to get your factory system out. What's up guys, today we're gonna be doing an exhaust on our Sierra, so let's get started. All right guys, so we've got our truck in the air, and the first thing we're gonna do is start at the tail section, and we're gonna go ahead and unbolt this crossover pipe. So that's got a two bolt flange, connecting it so it's a uh, 13 millimeter swivel socket and extension on our impact. We're gonna fish that up in there, unbolt those two nuts, and then we can go ahead and remove the rear hanger and get this driver's side crossover tube out, and then we can move on to the rest of our system. So now we're gonna come back to our tail section. What we're gonna do is remove this entire isolator instead of trying to get this out of the isolator. It's much easier to just go ahead and take this 15 millimeter bolt out and remove this whole assembly as one piece. And then we can take it off once it's on the ground. So we'll grab our 15 mil socket on our impact and go ahead and run that bolt out. Now we will need to support our tailpipe here while we go ahead and unbolt that. Now that we have that unbolted, we'll go ahead and unhook this from its locator, and twist that down. So now we've got our driver's side tailpipe in hand, and what we're gonna do is push it towards the driver's side wheel here, so to get it off of the two mounting studs on that flange, and then we're gonna go ahead and drop it down and pull it back 
and go ahead and get it out. So like so. So now we can go ahead and start removing the main section of our cat back. So what we're gonna do is start at the ball flare clamp here at the end of our Y pipe. And we're gonna go ahead and loosen that up. We're gonna go ahead and remove the hangers as well, moving all the way back to the tailpipe and then go ahead and remove the other rear hanger isolator just as we showed you on the driver's side with another 15 mil bolt. And we're gonna go ahead and throw a pole jack under the muffler to help support the system while we do this. So now we can go ahead and grab our 13 mil socket on our impact, loosen up this clamp, get it out of the way. off here. You just want to push this back far enough to where it doesn't interfere with your connection. So we'll go ahead and be able to remove that. So next we're going to go ahead and remove this hanger from the isolator. So we've got our hanger removal tool. We'll go ahead and pop that out. So now we've come to the rear of our system and just like the other side, we're gonna go ahead and pop this rear hanger isolator off and then go ahead and remove the two mid hangers at the muffler and then go ahead and remove our system. So we've got our 15 mil socket on our ratchet. We'll go ahead and pop this off, work our way up to the middle two hangers and then go ahead and pop those off. Got that out. Go ahead and remove that from its locator so it's out of the way. We can even take that all the way off right now. So now we've got our hanger removal tool. We'll go ahead and get these two muffler hangers off. And we've also got an extra set of hands. This is gonna be very helpful to get this system off as it needs to kind of finagle around the differential and the cross member up front. Now you want to make sure you are supporting your system as you remove this last hanger. We'll go ahead and lower our pole jack, get that out of the way. And we'll have to slide our system to the side. So now we're going to have to bring our system back a hair. Want to make sure you don't catch it on any lines or anything like that. Oh, that is really stuck. Hold on. Alright. So once you get your mid-pipe flange across your cross member, you can start to go back forward. Drop the front of your system down. Oh. And go ahead and feed your system out. So now that we have everything off, we'll go ahead and pull this last rear hanger isolator off from our driver's side one that we set aside earlier. So we'll just go ahead and pop that right off go ahead and set it aside. So now we're going to need to go ahead and remove our bumper exits because our new system is going to have different tips. So what we're going to do first is come right back here to the center of the top of our bumper exit and it has a 10 millimeter screw there. So we're going to grab a 10 millimeter swivel socket and extension on our ratchet and go ahead and get that one off first. So next we're going to have to remove the 
two inner bolts here that are kind of inside the bumper. Now, we do only have one on ours because our other one has been lost at time due to previous installs, but you should have one on each side of your bumper exit there. And we're gonna go ahead and use our 10 mil swivel socket again with an extension on our ratchet. And you can fish it up through the side of the bumper here and get to it. It is a bit of a tedious process, so just exercise some patience. And we'll go ahead and get those off. Support our exit here. Go ahead and pop that off. Then you can go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. All right guys, now we can begin installing our new setup. So we're gonna start with our new mid pipe. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and get this over our cross member, get our new hanger into our factory isolator, get our ball flare lined up with our flange here and reuse that factory clamp. We're gonna snug that back down with our 13 mil socket. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our extension pipe, and this is gonna depend on what configuration your truck is. Long bed, short bed, crew cab, will all be dictated by the manufacturer. So we'll go ahead and grab ours, and we'll go ahead and grab a provided clamp. We're gonna slide that onto our slip joint, and go ahead and get that onto our mid pipe. Then we'll grab our 15 mil socket on our impact and go ahead and snug this down. Next up is gonna be our muffler, so we're gonna get our pole jack in place to help us support that. We'll go ahead and grab another provided clamp, slide that onto our link pipe, get everything in order, get our muffler in place and set, and then we'll go ahead and snug that clamp down as well. So now we're gonna get our passenger side outlet slash over axle on first. So what we're gonna do is grab yet another clamp, slide that over our slip joint on our muffler outlet, get our outlet and over axle in place, put our hanger into our factory isolator, go ahead and set that on, snug our clamp down. Again, we are lubricating all of our hangers. That's gonna help Get those into the isolators. So now we can get our driver side outlet and over axle in place. Remember that is also the crossover tube. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing as we did on the passenger side, our clamp, hanger, isolator, and get this snugged up. this up over.
sure this isn't hitting your spare tire heat shield or anything like that. Lined up pretty much where we want it to go. Snug this down. So now it's time for our tail section. So we're gonna go ahead and reuse those factory isolators that we removed from our stock setup. Go ahead and install those onto our new hangers like so. We'll get those lined up, reuse the 15 millimeter bolts, bolt them down. And go ahead and get our slip joints in position on our over axle tubes with our clamps and snug those down. So now that we have our passenger side tail section on, we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the driver side. So again, we've got our clamp and our factory isolator. We'll go ahead and get all that in place, bolt this back up, and then we can begin tightening everything down. Now we're gonna go ahead and fully tighten down the rest of our clamps and we're gonna monitor to make sure we're not rubbing or hitting anything just to make sure we have our clearances and we'll go ahead and tighten this down. Now we can go ahead and install our tips. So what we're gonna do is grab yet another provided clamp. We're gonna slide that over our slip joint on our tip. Then we'll go ahead and get these in position and tighten the clamps down with our 15 mil socket on our impact. Bring ours out just a little bit. You do have some room to go more flush or more out. Then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our Rough Country dual exhaust system with black tips and rear exit for your 19 to current 5.3 liter Silverado and Sierra 1500 with factory dual exhaust. Thanks for watching and as always, for everything Sierra, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.